guys, it's me, Judith, again. Miss Copper Centric Girl of Natural Herbal Products. We live in a herbal life over here. A herbal life over here. Yes, guys, did you have your herbal drink this morning? Or a Seamoth smoothie? Anything to build the body up. We need it in these times uh, just to stay healthy, vibrant, energy levels up, immune system boost, no sickness here. That's what we want to say every day. No sickness here. We're going to boost these bodies, get these vehicles boosted up, popping with energy, just vibrant every day. Sea moss, um, basil and oregano, uh, aloe, any kind of smoothie, any kind of herbal drink to put all those extra vitamins back into the body every single day. This is something you got to do every single day, each morning before you put any breakfast on your stomach so it can go straight to the bloodstream. You got to keep this body built up. You got to keep it popping with, with herbs and, and, and vitamin, plenty of vitamin, max out with vitamins, green leafy vegetables, more salads, more green. Kind of put the meat to the side right now because I'm telling you, meat and, and all this sickness, these viruses and all these things clashing together ain't working, y'all. Ain't working. Alkaline body. You need a alkaline body during this time. You got to boost your immune system. You got to strength, strengthen your system. You must strengthen your system. Any weakness in the body has to be built up. You must do it during this time. Um, I say probably around March, during the time like around the end, end of March, coming into April, around the Passover, they're going to be throwing out these pandemics and, and uh, wherever it's coming from. Different things are going to be happening. Stores ain't going to have what you want because people bulk buying. It's going to be stressful. They're going to cut hours on jobs. They're probably going to cut jobs, period. It's going to be a stressful time. you got to boost your immune system. You're going to have to keep yourself built up. Herbs fresh basil, oregano, aloe, sea moss, burdock tea, um, itoan, green tea. You got to keep yourself built up with these things. Make you a tea with turmeric root, really good for pain. Turmeric root, ginger root, um, cinnamon, lemon, honey, um, apple cider vinegar and make you a tonic you know do you some citric herbal and citric um therapeutic uh, uh cleansing of your nasal cavity you got to do these things you got to think you got to do research you got to keep yourself built up it's a must thing you have to do it you have to do these things in this time because it's a filthy world right now it is filthy, disgusting world with all this stuff out here. Disgusting. And it's going to get worse. It's going to get worse, y'all. It's going to get worse. People ain't doing what they're supposed to be doing. You got to be obedient. You got to be obedient. People aren't obedient right now. They live in the way they want to live. You know, they don't understand these bodies, these vehicles that we have, it don't belong to us. These vehicles don't belong to us. You got to treat it the way the creator said treat it. You got to put in it what he said put in it. But people still want to live where they want to live, you know. They want to eat what they want to eat. They don't even care if it make them feel bad. They will still do it. But then just when this virus hits you and you ain't eating the way you supposed to be eating, where the creator said to eat, it's going to take you down through there. A lot of times people don't 
don't don't pop back like they supposed to. You know, you left with 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 something you didn't have in the beginning. People, we got to we got to stop we got to stop eating all these defiled things, these abominated things. You got to stop it. You got to cleanse your body and keep it clean. Keep these vehicles clean and running the way they're supposed to run at its full potential. And you can't do that if you're eating junk, if you're eating filthy foods that ain't benefiting you in no kind of way, ain't benefiting your body in no kind of way. You got to put these herbs and vitamins back into your body. You must do this. You must do this. It is a must. There's filthy things being put into the air. Your water ain't clean. You know? Your water ain't clean. The air ain't clean. Everything's been defiled. You got to do what you need to do to take care of yourself. Take care of your hair. Boost your immune system. Get all these herbs inside your body to build your body up so your hair won't fall out during these stressful times. Get these herbs in you. Live an herbal life. And order you some, some Carpe Central. Natural herbal products. My creams. With every usage, it coats the hair. With every usage, it coats the hair. Not just that first time you use it. Every time you apply it, it penetrates that, <clears throat> that hair. That strand of hair, it penetrates it, coats it. And it, what it does, it acts as a barrier for anything harsh that you're going to do to your hair. Whether it's braiding, coloring, relaxing, perming. Um, whatever that's harsh whatever that's harsh it acts as a barrier between your hair and that activity you gotta get it people I'm telling you don't miss your blessings with Copy Central don't miss your blessings I stand by my work I started working on this in 1991, I perfected in 98. Not, not, I was wrong. 2008. 2008. 2008, I had it to where it is. It was good, you know, before then. But 2008, I had it to where it was good for a shelf life. It would last without chemicals in it. I had to go back to school, you know, learn about the body, the skin, go through a, a medical system program, uh, go through another medical program, learn about the bone structure, the skin, the hair, everything, the makeup, the, the body, everything, the scalp, everything. So I stand by my product. And when I tell you, you see thickness, you see strengthening in that, in that hair, and in less than a week, I stand by that. It coats that hair immediately with every usage. When I tell you, you see growth at the end of three weeks, you see growth at the end of three weeks. I've seen people lose their hair down to nothing but peach fuzz and get at least about five to six inches of hair in two months. It just depends on if you do like I tell you to do. If you put the time into your hair, brushing your hair, making sure it don't go dry. Put that cream on there and keep moisture into it. Our hair needs moisture. I know y'all like that bouncing and flowing through the wind hair. Hey, that ain't the kind of hair we got though. We don't have that kind of hair. Our hair needs moisture. Our scalp needs moisture. And if you let it go dry too long, you, you, you end up with um, split ends, you know, split ends, excess dryness. I've, I've, seen, I've seen young females going to college and all they do would blow dry their hair, blow dry. That's it. Blow, no roller sets, no nothing. Just blow dry, blow dry, blow dry until they kill those cuticles. 
killed him. Ended up with no hair. No hair. None. So people, we gotta we gotta take care. Like I said, we gotta take care of these vehicles. You know, we we gotta treat our, our hair, our body, our skin. We gotta treat everything like we supposed to, you know. We were created a certain kind of way. And our creator tell us what we're supposed to put into these vehicles. So in order to have strong hair, uh, uh, glowing, vibrant skin, strong nails, healthy nails, um, we, we got to get back into herbs. We got to get back into putting those vitamins, you know, loading our bodies up with those vitamins that we need. Kind of put dairy to the side, you know, not so much meat. You, your, your, your meat's supposed to be herbs and fruit anyway. That was your meat. But you know how we are. We we some stiff neck folks. So, you know, we beg for flesh. So, you know, uh, uh, the most high <clears throat> went ahead and, and granted us some, some flesh. But at the same time, he said too much. You're not supposed to consume too much. It's not good for you. But I want you to focus on this time and everything, all these different events that, that's about to come up. I want my people, listen to me. You got to boost your immune system. You got to put these herbs back into your body. Focus on a, a alkaline uh, way of life, lifestyle. You gonna have to let go of all this stuff, cause I mean, cause it, it all these the different kind of meats and, and all this other stuff. It ain't what what it used to be. <clears throat> it was a time you eat that stuff and you feel good. You can't eat that kind of stuff now. You know, like I said, the water ain't, ain't what it used to be. The air ain't what it used to be. You know, the soil ain't what it used to be. So let's get get into a herbal life. You know, a herbal healthy way of living. And my products ain't just for the copper color people now. now I've, I've had some Caucasian people to, to have some really good results too now. I've had some people from India to have some, some really good uh, results. And if it's got some hair in it, uh, my product will, will grow it and thicken it. As a matter of fact, one of my first customers was a, a, a Caucasian male. He had a, a circle in top of his head, you know, where it just started to thin, you know, stressful job. He a plumber, then he got kids, wife and everything. So he had a circle in top of his head where the hair was just, just gone. He had a little peach fuzz up there. His hair was back in less than three weeks. I say about th by three weeks, by three weeks his hair was back, but it was weird how his hair was growing. It didn't grow from the hairline in, it grew, I guess it, it was supposed to grow that way because it grew in a pattern in the top. It was a swirl. It grew inward out to the hairline. But that's fine. The thing, the fact of the matter is the hair grew back. Let's get into this foot bath. The foot bath is doing real good. You know, it kills foot fungus. It brings the color back to the feet after it's being damaged by foot fungus. Um, it takes away the itching. It takes away the, the smell. And it's a great product. It also has a foot cream to go along with it. And people, let me let me just lay something on you. Probably, some people probably knew and then a lot of people probably didn't know. When you massage, when you're caring for your, your hands and your feet, what you want to do first of all, you want to bless your thumb by massaging and caring for it first. Your thumb is the captain of the hand. Because without it, it'd be impossible to, to really just hold things. So you want to massage that cream and the thumb first and then the rest of the hand. 
When you're caring for your feet, you want to bless the thumb first. I mean, I'm sorry, the big toe first. You want to bless the big toe first by massaging that cream through the big toe, all around the big toe first, and then the rest of the foot. Because the big toe is the captain of your foot. You understand what? How, how, how would you be walking, you know, without it? You ain't going to function properly without that big toe. So you want to bless these things first. Your thumb, then the rest of your hand. Your big toe, and then the rest of your foot. Hands smooth, healthy, your skin just smooth. And that, that foot cream is it's good for your hands too. Make your foot just as smooth as a baby's butt. Smooth, smooth as a baby's butt. Along with the foot bath. The foot bath is awesome. But people, I want you to get out, go to the Whole Foods stores or the fresh markets or wherever you got to go and just look through your herbs and ask for sea moss and different teas. I towin, I towin green tea, y'all, is a awesome tea, good for pain, migraines, headaches, I towin. Get out and let's have a herbal life and boost your immune system and, and keep yourself healthy, people. Like this video, share this video, hit the notification bell and give it a thumbs up. Hit that notification bell. It'll help me out a lot. All right, people.